You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's The Carrie Diaries After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's The Carrie Diaries After Show. No, Yes. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Wait. Carrie Diaries Season 2, Episode 3, No Strings Attached, which is why we started with No Strings Attached by NSYNC. Um, and I'm your host, Annika, and with me is... Hello, I'm Anik Dufour. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yay. This was an interesting episode. Um, I liked it. It was, it was fun. It was a little slower for me than usual. It was a little on the slow pace. You know what? I'm just not... I, I like the show. I really do. I'm just not into, like, the fact that they're not as 80s-centered. Yeah. Clothing-wise well, and stuff like that, as they were in the first season. I, I see that, but I, for some reason, I feel like in the high school scenes tonight, or last week's episode, um, they had a lot of kids in 80s clothes and, like, the little side ponytails girls were rocking in the hallways and the high, like, pants and the bleached-out, you know, jeans. I saw a lot. I mean, I saw a lot of it definitely more in the high school set. In the extras? Yeah, the extras in the, the high school end. set than the, like, you know, Tom's, like, workplace or Larissa's workplace or, you know. Right. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I agree with you, though. Like, but maybe they're trying to make it so that the kids go out and buy the fashion from this show because, you know, they want to make money. Not that they would get the money, but, you know, they want to influence kids in their fashion choices. I don't know. I don't know either, but a lot of shows try to do that. <laughs> so I'm just assuming that they're probably one of those two. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, kind of different things that went on in this episode. One of them is Tom gets a new job. Well, he gets his old job. Well, back. right. Back. He used to work. I thought he was unemployed, but clearly I not. He was unemployed. Well, I mean, he was just always at home and like going to the gym. The, the gym, if you all right. know what I mean. <laughs> um. But so he gets his old job back and he puts like his own guidelines of what can and can't happen or how much he wants to get paid or like, right rules. because Harlan asked him to come in yes and he at first he didn't know yeah so then him and Deb uh, Tom and Deb kind of have like a talk and just say you should go for it yeah and he did so I'm kind of happy gets him out of the house gets him out gets him out of the girl's hair and like you know they're in school why do you need to be sitting at home yeah they they're fine yeah. So I'm happy for him. I hope that, you know, he meets – I mean, he has that girl that he invited that charity, the, the girl Damn. he's dating. Yeah. Which I'm bummed. I kind of wanted to see some of this charity ball because I wanted to know if she was going to make up her mind and figure out if she's wearing a short dress or a long dress. <laughs> ladies. Because that was the most important <laughs> but, like, decision seriously, of the night. <laughs> do any of you ladies out there, like, ask your boyfriends or, like, guys you're dating, like, oh, do I wear a long – It's like, Never. he said dress. Like, that's that's all you need to know. You don't – the guy doesn't know if you need to wear a long or short. He doesn't care. Yeah. He just – he just said, well, dress up. So figure it out on your own. Right. I mean, wh why all these questions to a straight man? <laughs> I think it was just something to lead into the whole, oh, you know, you asked, I went to see Harlan and stuff like that, and he wants me to come back type of thing. So I think it kind of just led into that. Yeah. I, I see that. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just personally have never asked a guy that's straight, um, do I wear a long or short dress, right? I've gotten beautiful fashion advice from my gay boys, but, you know, I don't ask, like, the guy who's taking me out, like, hey, do I wear long or short? I just kind of, like, oh, I'm going to wear this dress. And yeah, they don't day. know the difference. No, they really oh. don't. They really <laughs> no don't. Offense. I mean, seriously, guys. Um, So that was Tom and his new job. I'm excited for him. Well, I liked how, how, how like, Larissa, since Larissa's back, yes. and her oh, and Harlan <laughs> are, like, back at it in his office. On his jacket. On, on Tom's, Tom's jacket. jacket. God. 
you really want that jacket back now? I know. That's why, like, the secretary is like, well, I can have it. Are you going to incinerate it? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I'd just rather have the money for that jacket back in my pocket. I'll go buy a new one. Thank you. Yeah. I think I like the way, though, that they did this and how he, like, they still, like, incorporated and they didn't just completely forget about the whole Larissa yeah. and Harlan situation for yeah. last season. She was going at it on his desk. I know. <laughs> they were going to town, people. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, she was on her lunch break and he, you know, there you go. And now she's zen, apparently. Yeah. So. <laughs> this whole zen thing about this episode. Um, But let's just get into that. Yeah. So Lar- Larissa's back, obviously. Yes. Thank goodness. She was a fun character. Yeah. So I'm happy she's back. Are you? I like Larissa. She's a good one. I, I just, don't know. Like, I don't know how. I Because, like, I'm a huge Sex and the City fan. So right. I'm not sure how, like, she kind of just, if she just disappears with, like, the internship type of thing. Because we don't really hear about her in mm-hmm. Sex and the City. Right. So I'm not sure. I'd like to see how that, like. Plays out. I feel like it's easy to make her disappear. She goes on so many escapades and adventures yeah. that it's like, oh, she's just traveling the world again or something, you know, yeah. like done. You don't even have to kill her character off. Just make her travel. Yeah. So, um, but Samantha and Larissa meet at this, uh, I don't even know what that was called, but it was Asian, like ball. I don't even know what that was. It was like it was a little like Zen party type of like ninjas in a garden. It was some kind of <laughs> festival of a party it was like a fashion thing because they had fashion and alcohol right so <laughs> so it was kind of like i think the whole like ninja thing just kind of incorporated into the theme of right. the type of like fashion party right it was and so they meet and of course they don't get along Lois and samantha butt heads you know and Lois is kind of like who invited this girl and carrie's like oh i did you know like mm-hmm. oh great now it's gonna be a problem um they start fighting with each other and arguing and one of the things they argue about is that – I have to bring this up because I just really want to know. Um, it's like women don't dress for men. They dress for other women or gay men. Do you think right. that's true? Because I disagree. I disagree too. I mean, like, if I'm going to go out, like, with a girlfriend and, like, with a guy, I'm going to dress, differently. like, differently. Right. You would assume. Right. Like, you want to look sexy or cute for your, like, guy. Right. Like, I don't want necessarily want to do that for a girl. A girl. And, like, she, I mean, if I were batting for that team, <laughs> I probably would. story. <laughs> right. But, but Lur- seeing as, as I don't, right. then it's, like, I don't. <laughs> we don't really care. Yeah. Well, like, Larissa, her point was, like, well, we dress for other women. Basically, the other women will appreciate the fashion and the shoes, and, like, the gay men will appreciate the fashion and the shoes. Whereas straight men usually are like, oh, okay, it's a dress. They don't think like, oh, is this designer and from this like fashion show or like these heels are like from like they don't even know. They you could have bought it at Payless for all they know, and they really have no idea if it's like, you know, right? They, like they don't. So it's just funny to me that Larissa's like, oh no, you dress for other women because like they appreciate that stuff too. So I get where she's coming from. I don't think it's like to look good for other women. I think it's just like they appreciate. Mm-hmm. Your fashion choices and gay men obviously appreciate your fashion choices. Um, but I don't know. I didn't agree with her. I was like, um, I definitely don't dress for <laughs> right. other women I dress <laughs> for the sex I want to attract. So The truth of the matter is I dress for myself. So right. if you don't like what I'm wearing, then, you know, <laughs> that's too <so> bad. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> um, so anyways, they meet, all that stuff. They fight. I like how, like, it's, I think we should have, like, a whole, like, team, Larissa, team, Samantha. Samantha. I mean, I think towards the end, they kind of worked out their differences because uh, Samantha goes into Larissa's office and is like, hey, I'm just here to see Carrie. And she's like, oh, Carrie's in school. It doesn't say school. She says she's in a place where there's bells ringing and people walking yeah. <laughs> and, like, with lockers. And then Samantha's like, oh, the train station? And she's like, oh, no, school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bells ringing and people walking that's hilarious i um, don't necessarily think that they had like kind of worked it out i just think that they're just kind of like not like not like i don't want to say like rude towards each other just kind of like you know like what a whatever type of thing right i think i mean towards the end when she gave larissa i mean when she gave larissa gave samantha the, the ninja's address that she ended up sleeping with 
um i feel like that was kind of their way of like okay i'll help you out girl kind of thing right because she didn't have to she had that guy's address that that samantha wanted and she could be like sorry about it yeah you're not getting it from me yeah but she wrote on a post-it note and she gave it over and she gave like this cheeky smile and then that was it the scene cut yeah but to me it was like other kind of starting to work out their issues okay well i could see that a little bit you know i don't think they're gonna become best friends oh no I think Larissa will be gone way before they can become best friends. Yeah. <laughs> should we hop on another adventure somewhere? Um, but I don't know. That's how I interpreted it, at least. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't look at it that way. How did you look at it? I just I just looked at it as just kind of like, okay, you know, whatever type of thing. Okay. They weren't like trying to resolve anything right like, i mean i don't see them hair pulling each other in the no. next episode but i don't see them being like, like hanging out without right. carrie kind of thing right right oh yeah i mean i don't i don't see them hanging out without carrie either but i feel like they'll get closer because carrie will obviously invite samantha and Lois will invite carrie so it's kind of th- they go together kind of thing when she's kind of like there. the monkey in the middle yeah exactly yeah um so that's Lois and samantha yeah team samantha she's hilarious although i do have to say you have an amazing body she has an amazing body for i mean i hate to say this but for her age or for any age really (laughs) for her age no but do you know what i mean Lindsay gort by the way who plays samantha yeah i'm just to say for her age is 29 she's not 29 (laughs) in real life she's 29 is she really yeah okay yeah, we apologize, Lindsay. <laughs> or Annika apologizes. <laughs> I thought she was, like, at least in her late 30s. And I think it's oh, because... Oh, poor baby. <laughs> no, it's not like... Okay, wait. Let me rephrase this. I think <laughs> it's because... She just stuck her foot in her mouth. <laughs> no, I think it's honestly because Samantha has to be older than the, these kids, you know? And I feel like when we were first introduced to her and Donna was telling us about her cousin, she made it sound like, oh, she's so much older because she's like, oh, she's way older. And, like, the way she described her, I think in my head, I had her, like, in her mid-30s to early 40s. No, because in Sex and the City, though, Samantha is not that older than Carrie. Okay, see, I don't watch Sex and the City. She's, why. like, I want to say maybe five years older. Oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking Samantha here, they're 18, so I don't know. I can't count. So 19, 20, 20, 23-ish, 24. Okay. Yeah. All right. But in real life, Lindsay's 29. Nine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you look fabulous, girl. I started this with a compliment. So <laughs> 29 is still a good age to look that good. Wow. So wah. I'm serious, though. So her body's amazing. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody after excuse me wait a second wait a second, because everybody after 29's body is no, not amazing i'm not saying that at all i'm just saying your metabolism slows down at 30 <laughs> especially for women you can have some kids you know it, things happen really so. annika tell me because my birthday is in a couple weeks okay, and now happy going birthday <laughs> going back to carrie in high school um before i dig myself in a deeper hole and moving on. <laughs> so carrie's back in high school obviously and she's at this party that they went to, she's all about the Zen thing. Right. Being Zen with this gardenia thing that she saw. Right. Gardenia flower. Well, she learned what Zen. And chanting and mantra. Is. She's just kind of like live in the moment. Yeah. Go just like breathe and just not. I've tried doing that and it just doesn't work. It just no. makes me angrier and I just I flash can't. out even more. <laughs> no, I can't. I, props to the people who can. Yes. I'm not one of those people. No. <laughs> Well, at least we know, girl. Maybe we should add a little chanting to it. Maybe that'll work next time. <laughs> like, like Larissa's, like, the things that she was screaming out, I don't even know what it was, but it made me laugh. Like, out loud, legit laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so she's then, you know, and she's like, oh, I'll be fine when Austin comes, Sebastian comes back. Um, he's not going to affect me. I'm totally zen, blah, blah. The second he walks in the room, they're locked in a room together thanks to Dorit. Right, because – um, I was seeing. I was gonna say to Austin, thanks. Yeah, well, because Sebastian <laughs> goes to Dorit and ask asks her for help in like talking, wanting to talk to Carrie. Yes. So they kind of like plan this whole little thing in like a classroom, and she kind of like closes the door. Her. Yeah. And Carrie loses control, pulls Austin in, lifts up his shirt, and just goes for it. Yeah, and then they get caught. They sure to get caught with his shirt wide open, buttons undone, her shirt up above her head, <laughs> skirt like ruffled around, like, I mean, full on caught in the act. 
Right. Granted, they were just kissing, but if the door was closed a little bit longer, we don't know what would have happened. Right. Well, we do know what happened. They get sent to the principal's office. Well, I'm office. saying, like, we don't know what would have happened in that room. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm just saying now we do yeah. know what happened. <laughs> um, But anyway, side note. I don't know what high school y'all went to, but my high school sure did have clear glass windows in every classroom, so you could not do that. Yeah, we like had you couldn't glass. use. We had like those little panel things. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't sneak in a classroom and do that. Every like room you could sneak into was like I mean, you could see everything. There's right. no like oh we, it's everything's like in glass. I'm like, right. I don't know. I was like, oh, I guess schools. In but the wasn't 80s. it in glass too? They were just kind of like hiding. I thought there was like a window. Type it looked thing. like there was just a door, and the door and didn't have a wrong. glass. And I was like, oh, must be nice. That was an easy way for kids to like sneak away. Right. My high school didn't allow such things. We never had any empty classes anyway. So. Right. The teacher was always there. Yeah. Yeah. Just but, a little side note. <laughs> <laughs> but Carrie gets sent to detention because she's like, after all these 12 years and yeah. stuff like that, I never like got in trouble, never been suspended. She's beyond bummed. She's like the goody good girl. You right. Know? And then she gets sent to detention for a week. Yeah. Which honestly is not that bad for making out with your ex-boyfriend. Right. We don't know what he got. Where we assume that he got the same Probably thing. Probably the same thing. Yeah. He was – I have to say he was willing to take the blame and, you know, like, cover for her and be like, this is all my fault. Don't punish her. Right. Which I thought was a very gentleman thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> clearly there was two people involved here. It wasn't right. just him. Um, but uh, even though he says to Carrie later on, like, you pulled me and you're the one who kissed me. Like, he still – is the one who's, like, willing to take the, the blame for it so she doesn't get in trouble. But the school's like, now, nah, now nah, you both were going at it. That's not going to happen. Well, I mean, they were both going at it. They were. I mean, so he wasn't like, like, it's only you. You can't. You yeah, know, he so. wasn't making out with himself. So yeah. <laughs> that'd be kind of awkward. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, um, so at the end of that, basically, uh, Sebastian comes to the house and, Carrie's like kind of to me she looked excited to see me him. too she was I was like, like yes yeah finally yeah and she then... looked happy to see him and then she wanted to say something and he's like no wait let me say something first and I was like okay good he's apologizing this is going the right direction and then he's like I think we need to stop this because I'm like holding you back and then you can tell she had something else to say that was probably like I like you too and I want to get back with you she couldn't say it because he just kind of cut it off completely right i don't know oh it's, it's not done i think it's done for a while though i think his character is still gonna be in the show oh i think so too i just think that their whole like oh we'll save that for predictions okay but <laughs> um and then i guess uh sebastian got an offer to go and sleep with one of the girls from the country the woman i shouldn't say girls she's a married woman mrs donovan yes mrs donovan or vicky yeah she like who's played by molly sims yes <laughs> um to go sleep with her and like even though no strings attached she cougared him at she the totally diner did. yeah and first he was like no i'm not interested and then like the last scene is them like rolling around in the bed so things changed yeah that's not gonna last either. But oh, yeah. not more than I. Hopefully, not more than this episode. So, <laughs> come on, Sebastian, what is going on? <laughs> um, but yeah, I liked how finally Walt and Maggie kind of made up. Yes, because Maggie was like going through. It was like we kind of forgot her. Like um, Simon. Yes, the, the hot policeman, cop guy. He was kind of like trying to get her. Back. To like back and he did it once he convinced her to do it earlier in the episode yeah but i don't think she slept with him i think, think he just dropped her off really yeah because he said we well, just did it once before we just did it again when he the second time around i took it like they did something because he's huh. like i only okay. have 10 minutes we just did it like a few days ago and she was like he's like i only have 30 minutes and she's like i thought you only need 10 or something and he's like we just did this a few days ago what's the difference now oh i missed that and I was like, oh, y'all full on hooked up a few days ago on your 30 minute break, didn't you? <laughs> These people are hooking up on their breaks. I, I know. don't know what's going on where, where you guys are working. But there's a lot of hookups going on on these 30 minute breaks. I can't <laughs> even get my lunch to be done in 30 minutes to yeah, eat. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, it's... <laughs> I mean, just saying here, people. <laughs> and so he goes and, and she turns him down, which I'm glad. Yeah. 
because like he's ain't nobody got time for that no he's just really like <laughs> he's beautiful on the eyes he's easy to look at it's kind of like he's kind of annoying it's like enough you have enough. a fiance yeah if i was her i'd want to tell the fiance yeah like go away yeah i think i should just put him to the side and like i think he just... might be like not back for a few episodes if he's even back yeah it's just kind of like he just kind of is kind of like annoying yeah i don't want to see him right now no but I have to say, side note, I'm kind of – not impressed isn't the word, but I guess, like, I'm happy that Donna stood up for Walt. Yeah, because he was wearing – he came to school trying to, like, act straight and right. not, like, let it on that he's gay. And he's, like, wearing, like, a football jersey on top of, like, a plaid shirt type of thing. I was like, oh, poor baby. Yeah. And, and then, like, Donna was pretty much, like, standing up, like – standing up for him type right of thing and she kind of like and by standing up for him we mean making out with his neck right <laughs> <laughs> that's what and we then mean. like in front of the guy that she was dating who was like on the football team or whatever Whoopsie. so that like turned out bad for her and turned out bad for him because he got a black eye because of it yeah but now people think he's straight exactly so, so problem the one problem is resolved for him you know yeah <laughs> Um, but I have to say, like, I didn't think that would come from her. She kind of seemed not that kind of a person in season one. So I'd like to see that change in her. Yeah. And that's my thing. Do you have anything else to add on this episode? No. I do like, though, that Walt and Maggie kind of, like, made up. Made up. I do, too. Yeah. I hope that makes it easier for Maggie and Carrie to make up. Because now I feel like everyone is talking to Maggie except for Carrie. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Jeez, I did it again. Sebastian. Sebastian <laughs> talking to her. Um, you know, uh, why did I blank on her name? Mouse has been helping her with college applications. Right. She just apologized to Walt. Donna's like doesn't seem to have many issues with her. So we're just waiting for Carrie and Maggie. And predictions, I will tell you what I think. <laughs> Shall we get into them? <laughs> You're after Buzz TV. Predictions. Why? I know. Um, do you want to go first? Sure. I think that, uh, let me see. I think that Carrie and Sebastian are done for now. I think Carrie's going to find a new guy. There's going to be somebody new, and then Sebastian's going to get jealous. I can totally see that going on. Yeah. I think that Maggie and Carrie are eventually going to become friends again. Mm -hmm. hopefully and samantha and larissa i don't think are going to become buddy buddy but i think that maybe they'll like get in trouble with doing something like crazy yeah i don't know i like i like i want to see more bennett and walt i do too and i think we're going to see some of that i don't think they're not done even though he's back in high school yeah and mouse and wes because i think they're not done wes is cute (laughs) yeah um my thing is I think that – I think the next episode, if not the – I mean, I didn't see the tr- the previews for the next episode, but if not the next episode, definitely the one after. But I'm, I'm putting my bet on, like, tomorrow's episode. Carrie and Maggie are going to make up. Hmm. So okay. that's my predictions. And I don't want Austin to go away, meaning Sebastian, because I like looking at him. So. He's not going – he's not going to go away. I just don't think that he's be going to Carrie. be with – with Carrie, yeah. Uh, okay. Not for a few episodes. I can see that. Maybe a break. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. You want to tell them where they can find you? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at anique 4 and my website, anique And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram and all those wonderful things. My website, AnnikaMichelle.com, and Twitter at Annika underscore Michelle. Yay. And Instagram, AnnikaMichelle1. One. <laughs> <laughs> one. So different, like, things, I know. Not two, one. One. <laughs> Numero uno. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.